que tenemos que trabajar en ella. Ahí está. I come late ah, bueno. to. Welcome to class. You need a, a saldo. <laughs> I don't hear you. Hi. There you Your go. Microphone, Can you listen to me? Yes? Yes, yes. yes. teacher. Welcome to class, teacher. I'm sorry. Yes. I think some some kicked me out. Like, go away. Don't teach them pronunciation today. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Something happened. <laughs> Something happened. I don't know. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. And so I forgot. What were we talking about? Hmm, completely forgot. Oh, yeah. The sound of letter O. Okay, so we were talking about short sounds and long sorry. sounds. Now, I have a question. From the words that you have here on the list, which ones you do know and which ones you don't know? Hmm? From the no. words on the list, for example, here, the ones that you don't know, which one are the words that you do not know? I want you to look them up. The first one. Words? Okay, this one, boat. Boat. No. Boat. The Second one. Boat. The, the first one, I don't know what is the meaning of, of the word. Boat. Yeah. Like, um, okay. Row, row, ship, row your boat. Ship. Like a ship. Uh -huh. But it is smaller. For example, whenever you go to the lake, you the take boat. a boat to go to an the island, river. for example, or the boat. river. Boat. Uh -huh. the They're small sea. ones. Small. They're like small ships. Very good. That's a boat. Now, it's interesting. The words that you see them here, they're very difficult to... You don't know all of the words, but these are kindergarten words. <laughs> so, okay. I want you to imagine they're kindergarten... You see how difficult this is? It's not easy to learn phonetics, especially with kindergarten kids. So, it's okay if you don't know the meaning. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is the following. I want you to look only for the words that you don't know the meaning. Okay? How do you look for words when you don't know the meaning? How do you guys do that? How do you look for the meaning of a word when you don't know it? What do you do? Do you go to translator? In a dictionary. Dictionary. In a dictionary, for example. Sometimes when I don't know the meaning of some word, I look for for the word in the dictionary, but sometimes it's difficult because we are lazy or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sometimes you look for it on translator, right? It happens. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, that's too that is that is more easy, I think, because sometimes we are we are with a cell phone in our hand mm -hmm. and is it it's easy because it it is a an in the same way that the things that we are doing. Okay, so this is my suggestion from now on. From now on, just type the word and look for the picture. We are very visual, so we go by images. So whenever you don't know the word, look for a picture. Or if you don't know the name of it, if you know, but you want to learn. Now, what happens when I don't know the word? When I don't know the name of the word. So you type, for example, let's say you don't know how to say the name of a baby horse baby horse name a baby horse is called for example oh okay oh it's called a foal okay and that you will get the the meaning of it or what you're looking for it okay so instead of using translator because what happens with translator is that translator will give you other definitions rather than the one you're looking for so since we are very visual we go by images so look for the words in images whenever you don't know a word okay this is a this is a, a strategy that i usually use especially with intermediate and advanced students so the only reason or way that you can use translator is to listen to the pronunciation of the sound of the of the word sorry or in case it's like your last but last resource that you have no idea or no clue how to explain saying google of a word that you're looking for so that's my suggestion. Like this is a way that you can use to improve your English, okay? So try to not yeah. use school translators, not really good when translating sometimes. Sometimes yeah, sometimes no, but it's better that you do it this way. I know it's more difficult to do it this way and it's easier to do it the other way, but then this will develop more vocabulary for you because then 
you will not only know what is the name of a baby horse, but you will also know what is the name of a female horse. What is the name of a male horse? Because horses in general, but then you want to know the female name, the male name, and so on and so forth. So that's a, you know, it's a good way to actually exercise, okay? This is like just okay. uh, a, a tip that I can give you guys. Okay, so Thank you. when, you're welcome. So whenever you don't know a name of word, do it. So for example, in this case, boat, you saw the picture of a boat. So it's a small ship at a small scale. Okay, any other word that you don't know from here? From the list? Boat, dot, goat, joke, mop. I want to know what is, what is dot. Dot, okay. It's like, like a point. Say that again, sorry. Oh, wait, sorry. Like, a, like a point, dot. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. So what is it? It's like a point, but actually what you're telling is this one. Dot is like this. Pronunciation is the same, but in dot without an E and dot with an E. Mm -hmm. So it is to be silly, okay? Or it is to be extremely and uncritically found of. And you're like, what, about, what, what is that? What happens when you find a meaning that you don't understand? Simple. This is another tool that I will show you. It's called thesaurus. You have a dictionary and a thesaurus. A thesaurus is a synonym. So if you don't understand the meaning of the word itself, then you come here and look for a synonym word that gives you an idea of what it is. And it will actually place synonym words for, for dote. So it is to cherish. It's to like something to valorate, for example, something that you have in your house that you valorate a lot, that is to dote, okay? So it's to cherish, is another way of saying cherish, okay? So this synonym, uh, synonyms, uh, thesaurus, gives you even sentences on how to use the word, so it's a very good resource. I will send you the link at the end of the class so that way you guys have it, okay? Handy, and you okay, can use it. You. Mm -hmm. Anytime you don't know how to say, you're years writing and if you use English in your work or in your daily job and you are writing emails or texting and you're using the same words over and over again you can write the word here and it will give you other words instead of using the same words over and over again okay, okay. And this is a very okay. good this is a very good resource to to have handy at all time synonyms okay so going back to our pronunciation any other one from here And you show the list again, please. Sure. Can you see it or you cannot see it? I can see it. I can I see, can it. see it. Okay. So let me share my screen. I'm sorry. Okay, here. Can you see it now? No, I uh, no yet. Uh, right now, yeah, I can. I can see okay. it. Okay, so we have boat, we have goat, we have goat, joke, mop, coat, road, mop. rot, mop, 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 mop teacher, mm -hmm. mop. I don't know. What is a minute of mop? Mop. Nope. So we go here. A person given to prolonged spells of low spirits. So it's somebody depressive or pessimistic. So that's something somebody mope. Okay. Mope. Mope. Hmm? Mope. Difficult words the in other... kindergarten. <laughs> okay. <Huh? laughs> 
then we have joke, mop, mop, coat, coat. road, coat. road. Coat. Okay, coat. It's when it's raining. It's like you use a coat to protect something. yourself from the rain or from snow, for example. To protect like yourself from cold. It's like a jacket, but I'll show you a picture. Okay. It's like okay. an abrigo. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. This one, so coat. Mm -hmm. oh. So those are coats. Okay, our next one, rod. Rod, do you know what rod is? No. Like a way? Like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, like what? Uh, like a uh, way? Uh, uh, Say that again, I'm sorry, I cannot listen to you. Way. On the street, um, something like that. It's like road. a street? No, road. actually, uh -huh, road. road. Wrote. Road. Wrote. So it Wrote. says here it's a mechanical ah. or habitual repetition of something to be ah, learned. Wrote. Wrote. Uh, okay. like, a, like a loop. Like a loop. Yes. So it's something that you do uh -huh, on a constant basis, uh -huh, over and over again. Like, um, repetition. Like a repetition of activities uh -huh, during the day. For example, every day okay. you wake up, you have you have breakfast. You usually have cereal, so that's a rote. You do that every day. Uh -huh. So it's a, a repetition of something. Then we have poke. You know what poke is? When you do this to somebody, you poke him or you poke, poke. the eye. You say, "Oh, you poke my eye." That's oh. to poke your eyes, but to do this. Okay. That's to poke. Okay. And the last one, it's cope. Cope. Cope means to be with somebody, but I want to, I just want to double check. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to cope, it's to manage. It says a person deal effect with something difficult. Yeah, to cope is when you're, for example, we, we need to cope, guys. We're going through a different, uh, difficult situation right now in our country, so we need to cope. So it's, it's when you take things in a positive way and you deal through a difficult situation. But you're overcoming it because you're not like overwhelmed because of the situation. You're taking it easy because you have like a strategy or a plan. So you're coping with the situation, okay? I'm happy that you're coping with that. I hope you cope with that. You have enough patience to deal. Like to be positive or to have enough patience to deal with a difficult situation. To be able to manage a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. That's to cope. Okay. Okay. Now let's go with the next row. We have code, soap, hope, lobe, node, joan, Todd, eh, Soak, Ross, and Dom. Which one is new for you? Which words are new for you from this list? Todd, Todd. Um, Love I, would be. Okay, let's start with that one. Uh, Todd, it's the same as frog. It's the opposite of frog. So we have sapo y rana. So it's one of those. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Lobe. Lobe was the word, right? Yeah. So it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's the division of the brain in how the brain is divided. That's a lobe. Okay, okay. Then we have code, soap, hope, load, node, nod. It's to do this. You nod. When you nod, it's mm -mm, sorry. So it's when you do this movement on your face. That's to nod. Okay. And Todd is a, there's a difference between um, Todd versus frog, I think. 
So this one, I, but I always make, I always confuse which one is which. I always uh, confuse uh, sapo y rana. I'm sorry. Yeah, I always confuse this sapo y rana. I don't, I always confuse them. But it's that, the frog versus Todd. Okay. By the way, okay. and I think I mentioned this in the other class, in intermediate two, when we were talking about this. Do you know the difference between turtle and tortoise? Did I mention that? Do you remember? Turtle versus, you know, the difference between turtle and tortoise? Mm -hmm. hmm? By the way, we have always called turtles to the turtles on the land, but we have always been mistaken because actually turtle has to do with the oceans or with water. So all the turtles that actually dive in water are turtles and the ones in land are called tortoises. Tortoise. <laughs> but we always call them turtles. So we're like turtle, whether it's for, you know, inside water or on the land, right? We have always a turtle, but they actually have names depending on where they live. So if it lives in the water, it's a turtle. If it lives in land, it's called a tortoise. Tortoise. <laughs> so that's the difference. It's like Todd and, and, and frog. There's a, there's a difference between Todd and frog too. Okay. Okay. Any other word? Soak. Do you know what soak is? Soak. Rose and no. Bone. Soak is when you have, for example, you're washing your clothes and you put them inside uh, the laundry machine. Okay. So you soak them in water. Okay, you put them inside water. So to soak, it's to place them under water. So you soak them Sumer in water. Sumer here. Oh. Yeah. Soak. Mm -hmm. Sumer here. Yes. Okay, and dome, the last one, dome. What is dome? um the top of the <laughs> yes the cupola i think uh-huh uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. that's a dome it's, it's like domo uh-huh yes is that just cupola or it's not cupola that's same uh -huh. this is a, the top of the of a building so it's like round and you can actually so that's a dome mm -hmm. okay in words right and you see how interesting it is and this vocabulary is supposed to, this is a vocabulary they use with kids. So sometimes it's not necessary that they learn the meaning of the words. When you learn phonetics, you don't have to learn the meaning of words. You have to learn how to pronounce them. As you, and as you grow up or as kids grow up, they start learning the meaning of the words. But at this point in kindergarten, they focus more on the pronunciation of them. More than in the, more than in, in the meaning of the words, okay? Okay. okay, so my last exercise of the day is I'm going to place you in groups and I'm going to send a document on WhatsApp, okay? So um, it's w words with O. So I want you to practice them all together, okay? So you want, I want you to take turns and practice saying out the words or the sentences because it's like a PDF for kindergarten too. So I'm going to be sharing that with you and I want you to practice, okay? In the meantime, while I send you the document, I want you to talk to each other so you get to know each other, okay? So I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna share this, okay? I'm gonna share the material with you in a bit. See you in a bit.
okay, so I sent you the document, okay? So you can go over it. Um, I sent it here. So you can open it and go over it. And I'm gonna send it on WhatsApp in case you do not see it, okay? I'll see you in a bit. Practice, guys. Okay, I sent you, I sent you already the link of the material for the pronunciation of the letter O. So I want you to do the same as yesterday. So share, some of you, one of you can share your screen so you can do the exercises together, okay? Okay. It says pronunciation of the letter O. I sent you the document on WhatsApp and I sent you the document here in the chat of Zoom. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. And then I need to practice this list. Practice yes, the list yeah, I share think we... all together, all together as a group. Okay, only three. <laughs> yes, all together. Okay. Share your screen. Hay que irlo diciendo así a la. Por ejemplo, hop, bot, nose, foam. Yes, and I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And I want you okay. to go ahead and share share the share. Can one of you share the screen? That way you can yes. all see the list together, so you can do it together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inicio. Yeah. Uh, hop, bolt, nose, foam, foam, and foam. Okay. Uh, Okay, empiezo, eh, empiezo yo, the first one. Um, okay. hope, hope, boat, nose, foam. The second one, eh, mom, mop, toe, toe. Me. But remember no. to share, can some of you, can one, I'm sorry that I interrupt, can one of you share your screen? That way everybody's able to see like the, or if you all have the list open, that's fine. Whichever way works for you better. Okay. So you can do the exercise in a better way. Okay. Um, I no, I oh, number three. Uh -huh, number three. Who is the next one? Me. Yes. Yes. Lol. Rosibel. Yes. Coat. Bowel. Home. Okay. Number nine. Nine, not, dumb, jack, fall. Okay, and number ten, that, lan, mau, y, yo, joke. I think. Joke, yes, joke. 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 Okay, uh, the next exercise too, teacher. Yes, the Long. one with the sentences. Ha, the one with the sentences too. Yes, please. Uh, number one, I have the bot float. Float. Mm -hmm. Number two, John bought in Rome. Okay, number three, we run home at night and sleep. Okay, number four. He can make a bowl with coal and foam. Number five, Joe will loan the phone to John. Okay. Number six, the, the phone will moan when it's alone. Okay, number seven, go home and suck and love, love. Okay, number eight. John will quote Jay's note. 
Oh, Joe, Joe is not. Joe is not. Okay, number nine. I hope John will go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hope the boat floats. Floats. Okay, the second. Uh, John boats is Joe. John boats in Rome. Number three. Rosibel. Eh, siempre repetir. Me quedé, me perdí. Eh, after the leads, uh, we, we have to read the to, sentences. Yes, the sentence. Mm. Abajito the, de las palabras. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. Uh, and the number three. Number three. And okay, I am going again. Three. We run home at night and sleep. Okay. Number four. Um. Will what what joy is not number nine. I hope John will go to Rome. In number ten, numbed. I don't I don't stroll the road. I creo yo. Okay, number one. I hope the boat floats. Number two, John boat. But in Rome, Rome, no, I don't know. Number three, we run home. How's your exercise? How's your exercise, guys? Let's do the pronunciation all together, okay? Um, maybe not the words. I'm going to go straight to the sentences because we're running out of time. It's almost 10 p.m. Wow, time flies with you guys. Okay, let's go to the sentences. Um, the first one, I hope the boat floats. I hope, I hope the boat, boat hope floats. floats. Now, hope, no, because hope is when the bunnies um, eh, salta. So the pronunciation hope. is not hop, it's hope. There's hope. a ooh, hope. 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 I hope. Hope. I hope. The boat floats. The boat Excellent. floats. Number two, Joan votes in Rome. Joan, Joan votes in Rome. Rome. Excellent. Number three, we run home at night and sleep. We, we run, run home, home at home night and at sleep. Night and sleep. Very good. Remember, home. 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 Good. Uh, we can make a bowl with coal and foam. We can, we can make, make a, can a bowl, make a bowl with with or coal, coal and foam. And foam. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number five, Joe will loan the foal to Joan. Joe will loan Joe the will foal to Joan. Joan. Very good. Next the one. The fall to John. The fall will moan when it is alone. The fall, the fall will, will moan, moan when, when it is alone. 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 The fall will moan. Alone. 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 Very good. Alone. 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 Very good. Next one. We Go home and so. Ah, eh, loan is presto. Loan. Loan. With a loan. 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 Next one. The fall will moan when it is alone. The fall will moan when it is alone. Alone. Go home and soak a load. 
Go home and sew alone. Joan will quote Joe's note. Joan will quote Joe's note. 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 I hope Joan will go to Rome. I, I hope Joan will, will go to Rome. Go to Rome. And the last Rome. one. Nope, I won't throw the toad. No, no I, won't I won't throw the toad. the toad. Excellent, very good. Guys, I'm going to do the pronunciation. I'm going to do like a little like WhatsApp audio. I'm going to send it to you. That way you can practice it. As you can see, it's not easy to do pronunciation next. And this was just one letter. So the idea is for you to get engaged just one step at a time, okay? Just focus on one letter. Once you master that letter, move into another one, okay? Today we did the letter O. I'm going to send you the resources that I use, um, the audio, this worksheet. I already sent it the link through WhatsApp so you can download it. As you can see, it's like kindergarten, but the vocabulary is not that kindergarten. It's very difficult, right? So this is what some of the exercises that we're going to be working on to improve our pronunciation okay so time flies with you guys have a wonderful night enjoy see you tomorrow same time okay same place thank you Miss. Okay. Okay. thank You're you welcome. teacher good night arrivederci good night, good night. <laughs> bye teacher bye thank guys you. see you, see you. Bye. bye bye guys bye, guys. later cocktaters <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. You're welcome.